All right, hey guys, welcome back to Monkey Sessions Day 7. I'm Jacob from Hakavita Yoga. And today we're gonna continue our mission of building out a yoga program that's a good workout in the 25 minute session, but builds up to a really robust yoga practice over the full arc of the series. So along the way, we've been focusing particularly on building strength, heat, and flexibility in the short term, and across the longer term, I want to make sure that we are getting access into combining breath with motion to make flow. And our project this week is really adding on to that flow so that we feel like our practice isn't limited by the moves we know, but we have a new framework to integrate those types of new things. So in today in particular, we're going to continue to build out the lunges that we did last week. And on top of that, we're going to start to add in a little bit of shoulder stability, which we'll workshop, and integrate in new elements to the flow. Uh, so let's start with our breath, as always. Hand on the belly. Take a nice deep inhale in, and exhale. Inhale again. Exhale, fog up that pocket mirror. Put your hand in front of your face if that helps. Let's add some motion. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Fog up that mirror. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. In my first forward fold, I always like to just kind of rock it out a little bit. Move the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach through it. And exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, this time, drive all the breath through the nose. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Forceful breath out through the nose. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Come back down. Gaze at your knees. Inhale. Root through the feet. Rise all the way up. And exhale. Back to heart center. All right. One more time. Feel through the whole body. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Sweep down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Activate the back here. Feel how it's not just about shoving your body up, but length through the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale, hands to heart center. Awesome. All right. Come down. Make your way down to the mat. Keep that breath fired up. And roll yourself all the way down just to workshop a little bit of the shoulder strengthening that I mentioned at the beginning of class. So we've talked about this before. Plant the hands just underneath the uh, shoulder crease or the nipples, whatever. Plant your feet behind you. Come up to all fours. And then slowly, when you're ready, push yourself back up into a downward dog. Right. So this is the ideal spacing for your downward dog. You can pedal it out a little bit, just sort of feel the hips, do a little wiggle. And what I wanna workshop today is the way that we have a relationship with our shoulders as we get from here to the ground. So in the past, or maybe like in gym class, or you're doing a CrossFit class, you just you do a push up here, or you come forward and you do more, come down to your knees. And what I want you to think about is how that adds stress and pressure to the shoulder. So what we're going to do is add an incremental approach. So come back to hands and knees where we roll down through the body and you have to pay attention because otherwise you mess up the order, right? You may have seen people coming down knees and chest and this is a viable yoga move, but that's not what we're doing today. Roll forward and bring your thighs, then hips, then the belly, and then your ribs down to the ground, but keep your gaze forward. Okay, interesting. Push back up into hands and knees. We're gonna do a lot of rep repetition of this today because it's the building block to a healthy shoulder practice. All right, so we're on our knees. Rock forward, thighs, then the hips, then the belly, ribs to the ground. This time, float your palms, bring them behind you, and if you can, raise your feet up just a little bit. We're not cranking here. We're just firing up the back a tiny bit. Let it know something's coming. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands back to underneath the shoulder creases. Push back to knees. 
and then all the way back into your downward dog. All right, so let's practice that one more time. And I want us to feel this because the temptation to rock forward and drop is one that we want to change for now. All right, so we're in our down dog. Rock forward to plank, top of push up. Lower the knees, now roll down. Thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Did you notice your arms sort of flying out to the side? Tuck them in nice and tight. Inhale, look forward, float the palms off the ground or bring your hands behind you, clasp the hands and raise the feet. Take an inhale, feel that whole back chain firing up. Exhale, plant the hands back to your knees and back to downward facing dog. All right, you know this on down dog, bend the knees to get more space so you can twist the hips up, maybe even come up onto your toes. Perfect. All right, walk your way to the front of the mat slowly. And as we're here, come up to a standing position. I want you to think about today the experience of not just moving forward to plank and dropping, but rolling forward and slowly activating all the way up, thighs, hips, belly, ribs, okay? From there, we're going to move into our flow, integrating the lunges we learned last week. If you get lost, that's a-okay, take a breath, come back into child's pose, and just jump right in when you can. All right, so step to the front of the mat. Straighten out the feet. Prepare. Inhale, arms up. We'll start our flow off with uh, a nice start. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. All right, this is that first lunge that we workshopped last week. Shin perpendicular to the ground. Hands up on spidey fingers, so we're not collapsed down, we're lifted up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come back to a downward facing dog. From here, just to get the feeling, rock forward into plank position and drop the knees. Stay here, just think about how the weight is distributed on your hands. Pop the knees back up, come back into downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, knees down, anything to get that right leg up to the top, right? We can figure out a smoother way to make that transition later, but for now, get in the feeling of planting it between the hands. Pop the back knee up, inhale. Ooh, that's not right. Don't do that. That was a psych out. The problem with having people listen to you is sometimes you make a mistake. Inhale, look forward, pop up the back leg. Exhale, step forward, knees uh, together, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, and exhale, hands to heart center. All right, other side in this basic flow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. If your knees are straight right now, you don't have to do that. Inhale, halfway lift. Now everything should be activated. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, stay elevated. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Roll forward, stay here, plant the knees if you prefer, and just gain a little bit of heat. Feel into your body, the way that you're activated, broaden the shoulders even if your knees are down. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog, regroup. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, plant the knees, get that left foot forward now. Up on spidey fingers, raise the back foot, inhale, look forward. So a nice low lunge here. On the exhale, step it together, gaze towards your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we've got the base. Let's start to iterate on it. It is muggy today. I thought rainy season was over. It's still raining. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. But stay here, take a second to regroup. And on the inhale, bring the arms up, high lunge. Check in on your front leg, is it perpendicular? Inhale, exhale, hands down, step back into your downward facing dog. Okay, this is where we're gonna integrate some of what we talked about before. Inhale, rock forward to your plank pose. 
exhale, knees down, then lower everything, thighs, then hips, belly, ribs. Ooh, fun to put that one into practice. Inhale, arms behind you, raise the legs, look up, hold it here. Exhale, plant the hands, come back to your knees, and back to downward facing dog. Okay, take an inhale here. Exhale, both knees down, anything to get that right leg to the front of the mat. Inhale, pop up, plant the foot, plant the back foot. And inhale, bring your arms all the way up into this high lunge. Think about what's happening to your hips. Are they splaying open? Nah, we're tucking the hips in nicely. We're reaching the arms up and keeping the belly tucked. Inhale here, exhale, hands down, step the feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, big sniff in through the nose all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center, okay. Let's stick with it, stay focused. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back. You get a free breath here. Figure out where your hips are. Inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, bring the arms all the way up, high lunge. Tuck the ribs, reach up through the fingers. Yes, nice job, guys. Inhale here, exhale. Hands down, make your way into downward facing dog. In downward dog, rock forward to plank pose. And let's follow the sequence, knees down, then thighs, hips, belly, ribs, chest is still up. Float the arms behind you, palms facing down, float the legs. Inhale here, exhale, plant the hands, back to knees, and push it back up into downward facing dog. Take a breath, reset. Exhale, the knees down, anything to get that left foot up to the top of the mat. Inhale, pop up the back foot, look forward, and as you're ready, sweep the arms up. If you feel a little unstable here, kick the foot out a little wider. It's gonna take you time, it's a practice to learn what your body needs over the years. Take another inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands down, step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's build on just a little bit more. Inhale, arms up, reset, keep your focus. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, this time knee down our Anjaneyasana. Get set up here. Bring yourself up, hands to hips, or rise all the way up, right? Think about what the back foot is doing, pushing down strong into the floor. Front foot, chin is perpendicular. Ribs, are you like this? Tuck up, there you go. Nice job, inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step into your downward facing dog. From here, let's rock forward to a push-up position. We'll raise our right foot, bring knee to nose, hover it here, bring it back. So we're back in a plank position, just a little bit of heat. And now follow the progression. Knees down, exhale, thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Inhale, float the palms just right next to where you are. And bring the feet up off the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the palms, come to knees, and back into downward facing dog. All right. Take a breath here, recenter. Feel this down dog like you've never felt a down dog before because you have it. Every down dog is new and different. Take an inhale in. Exhale, knees down, anything to get that right foot up to the top. If it can be a sloppy swing, that's fine. Plant the back foot. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, Anjaneyasana. Find side body activation. Exhale, plant the hands, get yourself up, swing with that momentum, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to palm center. Okay, let's even you out. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, activate the back. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot down, knee down. Feel your Anjaneyasana, toes can be planted or flat. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Activate through the top of the crown. Inhale, exhale, plant the hands, come into your downward facing dog. All right, we'll add just a touch of heat. Rock forward slowly to the top of the mat. Lift up your left foot, knee to nose. Crunch everything, but keep your stability across all the fingers. Are your fingers activated? Bring it back into plank position, drop the knees, and now exhale, follow the progression. Thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Take an inhale here. Raise the palms up behind you. Raise the feet. Lift everything. Take an inhale. Exhale. Plant the hands by the nipples. Up onto the knees. Push down into downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Exhale. Knees down. Get that left foot up. You know what's coming. Inhale. Anjaneyasana. Reach through the sides of the body. Reach a little bit more. What happens when you play around with the hips? Inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Work your way up into a forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Pop the butt up and back like you haven't before. Inhale. Arms rise all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Drop the hands to the side, but don't get your water just yet. All right, I want to continue integrating on this. Fire up your breath. So pocket, pocket mirror in front of you. Continue to breathe nice and heavy. Inhale, suck the, suck the condensation off. Exhale, fog it up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, raise the arms. Now's when we add on some of the standing poses from last week. Exhale. Forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, and as you exhale, just walk your hands back. Sorry, walk your feet back all the way into a down dog. All right, so what I want to work on in this section of class, come to your knees. What I want to work on for this section of class is integrating the movement of warrior one and side angle into the idea of a flow. So getting up and off the floor in a way that feels stronger than maybe before. Right? I think a big problem in yoga classes is you show up to a class and the teacher says, do this, then that. And maybe you can work your way into the pose, but you don't know what to do with your body in between. So let's work on that. Come back to your downward dog. Raise your right foot off the ground just a little bit and bring it in between the hands. All right, that's a big motion. In the past this week and last week, we put the knees down and then got, got it up. In this little workshop, I want you to think about coming forward a little bit in your down dog. So meet me in like a halfway down dog, bringing the right foot and stepping it between the hands. All right, now that we're here, swivel the back foot so that the toes are facing off to the side. Get light on your hands, like raise your core off the ground and so your fingertips are sort of elevated. And in a big motion, sweep yourself up into that perfect warrior two. It is so cool to watch you all do that at once. All right, check in on all the feelings, uh, sensations, knee above ankle, hips, hands to your hips. Are they crazy or are they level? Back foot, toggled for intensity. This may change every class, every month. Inhale, arms out to the side. And I want to practice that motion again. So on the exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the ground, pop the back foot up, and stay here. Inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, drop the back foot down, lighten the hands, and come back up into your warrior two. Good. You guys are doing yoga. All right. Inhale here. Add on side angle. So plant the arm on the thigh. Sweep the hand up and over. And push through the outside edge of that left foot all the way up and through the points of the fingers of the left hand. Like the whole system is activated. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, come back to your warrior two. And one more time, gracefully transition back to side angle pose. 
If you find yourself collapsing down, push away from the leg and stretch that arm up high. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. And now cartwheel your hands back into the ground, step back into your downward dog. Okay, come to the knees. We'll rest here for a second just to integrate the feeling of what that was like, right? So we now have to get our leg from the back of the mat to the front of the mat. And we have some tools to do that, right? Squeezing our abs, rocking forward on the shoulders. If you need to take a little baby step halfway, that's perfect, right? We're focusing on foundations, not vanity right now. Let's do the other side. Come into your downward facing dog. I'm actually gonna switch so that you can see the demonstration better. Come into your downward facing dog. Lift the left foot up just a millimeter off the ground and sort of rock yourself forward halfway through a down dog and big step forward, plant that left foot up front. Swivel the back foot down. Lighten up on the hands and when you're ready, sweep into warrior two. Excellent, check in on this warrior two. Notice how my knee came back and this is not the cute angle that we want. So I'm gonna shorten up my stance so I can be more comfortable here in warrior two. I encourage you to do the same thing. Take an inhale here, check in on the hips, check in on the foot. Cartwheel the hands back down into a high lunge, and I just want to practice that sensation of transition. All right, so we're getting ready for a warrior two. Let's bring our foot down so the toes are facing the side of the mat. Let's get light on our hands so we're actually activating through the core and the hips. And on the inhale, big swing out into our warrior two. Excellent. Very nice. Take an inhale here. Let's check out our side angle. Plant the forearm, sweep the right hand up and over. Bring maybe the chest to where the wall meets the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, come back to warrior two. And one more time, plant the hand, or plant the forearm, reach up and over the top. Inhale, turn the chest up. Exhale, back to warrior two and cartwheel the hands down to the floor, plant the knee, plant your other knee and just sort of sit for a second. Okay, so we'll see throughout this week and next week we're finding new ways to transition into various poses and just before we close out, I wanna do a, a quick integration for you where we focus on the beginning of balance, right? So come into a, a tabletop position, Arm balances for most people are many months or years away in their practice. For you today, I just want to get the feeling of being balanced on one arm. So bring your left foot and put it roughly at the same level as your right knee. So it's kind of out at, a, at an angle. Your foot is pointing off the mat. Inhale, raise this arm up and just sort of have the feeling of the stability of the knee on the ground and your hand on the ground. And now if you can, raise up the right leg. So your toes are, the pinky toe side is on the ground. Inhale here. And exhale, bring it all down. Now, if that feels good, stop there. If you'd like to add on to it, do the same thing. Hand to knee, raise the back foot, raise the hand, or bring the left leg to sit on top of the right leg. You're here in a side angle. Inhale. And exhale, bring it all down. All right, let's do the other side and then we'll close our eyes. Come to a tabletop position. Plant the right foot pointing off the mat at roughly the same level as the knee. And bring your hand to your knee and just feel what it's like to be in this type of position. On those three points. And if you're ready, kick out the left foot behind you, pinky toe side on the ground, pause here and just sort of feel what it's like for your hips to be elevated in this position. All right, bring everything down. We'll do that iteration one more time, this time with the full lift. Back foot to roughly the level of the knee, hand to the right knee, kick out the back foot behind you, pinky, pinky toe side down, raise up the hand, or float the back leg to be on top of the other foot. Good, take an inhale here. Exhale, come down, drop the knees, come back into child's pose. 
All right. So we're right at the top of the hour. We'll close you out. Come onto your butt. Plant the feet on the ground just behind your butt. Relax the head, grab onto the side of the mat. And on the inhale, kick up through both feet. So you're driving your feet into the ground, but you're raising your hips up. Drag the knees together if you can. Take an inhale here. Big exhale out, all the way to the ground. Bring the knees into your chest. Rock yourself out side to side, maybe forward and back. Squeeze everything together. Double the intensity. Inhale, and on the exhale, let it all go. Shavasana. Now, as you take your Shavasana, I will pop up uh, and close out practice. This week in Monkey Sessions, we are focusing on building out a more complex flow and growing the base that we have in standing poses to integrate them in. We're also focusing on shoulder strength, a healthier way to get down to the ground than just rocking forward and dropping yourself. We'll see you on Wednesday. If you aren't on the e-list, please sign up. Uh, HakabitaYoga.com is live. This is always the highlight of my Monday. I hope everyone is off to a great start, and we'll, we'll be in touch soon. All right, thanks, everyone. Bye.